G'day, this is Captain Uber, and this is a Mauser Carabiner 98K. This is a German-made service rifle that was used throughout the duration of the Second World War, produced from 1934, where it was designed, all the way to 1945, at the end of the war, where Germany lost. Uh, the timing of this video isn't right, but we're not talking about the politics and the ideologies of the users of this weapon because this is a fallout mod we've got to shoot some gunners with this thing so don't worry about it. it's fine i won't get banned off youtube for having this weapon it was used by the 1940s germans this mod also comes with a m1918 tank gewehr we've already seen this in a standalone mod before but it's here so we may as well have a quick look at it there's a little bit of customization but the main focus on this will be the uh, Mauser. There's also a combat knife um, bayonet sort of weapon which you can't actually modify on a chemistry, a chemistry workbench or a weapons workbench. Funny that. And um, yeah, we'll just use that when we get the opportunity, but it's just a basic combat knife animations, but flavored like a bayonet from a Car 98K. Let's get into the receivers of this thing. We'll make a start on the modifications. So the receivers here are going to be pretty much the same as what you'd get out of your standard vanilla game stuff so all the way up to advanced receiver gives us 326 damage which is pretty good for starters and you can have a legendary effect slot there you can throw some tape on this will change what the color of that tape is and you can throw some cloth on as well um some of these are in a little bit weird order that just might be how the mod's set up but you can throw cloth and tape on this thing and change the color of it but we'll just skip over that because this thing as is right now i think looks just fine that being said i'm going to throw a scope on this thing so you've got a couple of options for optics you can have just the standard iron sights of this or you could throw on the scopes that would have been on this thing back in the day and obviously they'd have to have a huge riser on them so you can get your fingers in there and uh reload the cartridges one by one or maybe you probably can't even get a stripper clip under there, could you? But one by one, but at least you get a scope for aiming purposes. But we don't have to worry about that if we don't want to. We can actually throw a rail on that'll uh, give us access to all of the modern tactical attachments that you could ever want. But for this one, we're just going to go with a Z, uh, ZF39 scope. You could also have an option of these ones to remove the front hood, which will just, um, it'll just remove the little ring around that... Um, a front sight post there that's an option here's the wraps that i was talking about before you can have it completely covered if you feel like it including a version which has some cloth uh thrown over the scope for camouflage purposes um obviously just all cosmetic stuff i wouldn't expect this stuff to boost your sneak chance at all so we'll move on you can have some muzzles on this including a bayonet attached to the weapon actually used as a bayonet increases your bash damage and doesn't reduce your range which is 3019 okay so basically as soon as we're in bats range we can hit everything that's good to know which means i can throw a suppressor on and we won't have to worry about this thing having a terrible range so great we'll scroll down and you can get suppressors you can also get muzzle brakes and uh, compensators i suppose but nope nope we've got all of the range in the world so We'll just utilize this as is now there's a damage slider here there's versions of this mod that has this um damage slider removed because people think it's unimmersive the way you could probably get around that is just putting some fluffy words like improved or i don't know just basically copy what you'd see on the um on the receivers and just put some uh words instead of plus 200 percent damage that might make it a little bit more uh uh, realistic sounding and more immersive but we'll move on so you've got the 792 by 57 mouse rounds or you could chamber this thing in just standard 308s um, that's just the vanilla game ammo there you can craft these ammos at the chemistry workbench but if you want to grab some munitions patches or armaments there's a lot of bullet patches going around these days there's a more immersive way to feed this thing than just crafting it at a workbench using a bit of skyrim conjuration and you can change the um furniture of this thing i like the ebony wood on this thing it makes it look very sleek and stealthy you'll see that some of these have um bright pink textures just like that um that's because some of these are locked um the way you get these you go over the discord and you um just download a texture pack and you'll get these things now i'm wondering whether these things are here to save um space on the mod itself 
whether this stuff would be not safe for a YouTube channel to show. Who knows? There's some German words in there that someone might take offense to if the wrong person watches it. So maybe we'll just move on from that. And you can change the um, look of all the metal stuff as well, including making it gold if you scroll all the way down. I don't particularly like that look, but there's an option. There's also other ones, including this one. Soviet red? No. None of this Chinese stuff either. Let's just go with Normandy counteroffensive. No, wait, no, this one. Operation Winterstorm material. I know Winter, she's cool. All right, and I think that is it for the Car 98K. Obviously, we'll create a couple more of these so we can show this in many aspects, but as a starting point, that's pretty good. 407 damage for a rifle like this is nice. But we can get a lot better damage out of the Tank Gewehr. So the Advanced Receiver giving us 1,200. Obviously, it's a one-shot breech-loading type rifle. So those shots are going to be few and far between. But when it hits, it's going to hit particularly hard. You can throw out a gigantic suppressor on this thing as well. As you can tell, it's got the same amount of range. We'll use this thing loud and proud with and without the suppressor. Um, don't worry, we can carry these. It's only 90 pounds in the inventory. Got plenty of space. Barrels, you can't do anything. Can't do anything with the sights. The bipod, you can attach if you feel like it. it. Increases weapon stability, but doesn't increase the weight of the weapon. So, convenient. Also, a damage slider here. If you want to have 3,100 damage, you can put on the 200% booster. But I think uh, 1,400 is quite enough. You can't change the uh, material of the stock or the um, metal either. And there's no chance of changing that 13.2mm uh, tough mouse around. That's all you get. So the customization, not so in-depth, but just kind of there. Could have probably been a better focused standalone mod, but there was already one out there, so you may as well throw it in, right? And just as a reminder, if you do choose to put on this tactical rail on this, you don't want any sights at all. You'll have to activate this particular extra attachment point. You'll gain it when you... Um, attach that rail on for you to put on whatever sights that are modern that you want including a basker Ooh, the aerotech's looking pretty nice on this thing uh, a cog scope would probably go pretty well with a rifle like this don't we'll just go with the basker we'll do that but to craft everything that this mod has to offer at least by normal means just the standard uh zero patches version of this thing Go to weapons hyphen car 98k. You can craft the car 98k itself and the tank of air just from just bits everywhere. Harvest a few alarm clocks and turn it into a giant German rifle today. You can also craft the rounds. So 10 copper, 20 lead, and 5 steel give you however many things I got. This one is far more generous on its amount of bullets it's giving you. 5 copper, 5 lead, 5 steel for 25 rounds easy that's a bargain all right time to begin the combat at immersive gunners plaza here is our carabiner 98k in first person with the scope it's a standard tv scope so it, that's great news because um i mean there are fake through scope patches for this but honestly i prefer it like this immersion be damned here's the second one that i made it's got that reflex light which honestly i could probably have chosen a different one knowing that this site looks like this that's a tiny dot on the screen that i can barely see even with all of this extra glorious definition here is the tank gewehr in first person and uh in third person you really get a sense for scale on this thing question is do you wear it on your back yes you do a suppressed version will just clip through the ground won't it Yep, and uh, the bipod will clip through the back of Tammy's legs there. And if you're wondering, no, it, it, it's a co it's just a coincidence that I've got a blonde hair, blue-eyed character using this rifle. So don't even think about it, alright? Alright, let's begin, shall we? Now, what we want to do is sit here and take cheapies at these gunners before they notice where I am. Now, if we can nail headshots on these guys... I, actually, if we... We kind of don't have to bother with aiming because VATS will just do it for us. And we get that many shots. Look at this AP bar. This is a scope on this thing that we are using. A scope. A scope. And we're getting more hits than you'd expect from any vanilla game rifle that would utilize like a reflex sight. Um, 
there's the reload, by the way. We had to do the uh, reloads all one by one by one. So that's why it took so long. Probably faster in terms of uh, real time. Noticing there's a lot of uh, bullets delay, even after I've uh, cranked the bolt, I'm still waiting a good few seconds. There's the reload animation if you're wondering why the camera was uh, wobbling around so much before. There's a lot of uh, fire delay here, and I don't appreciate it. Alright, enough practice. Let's get some criticals rolling, shall we? One more should do her in. Provided that post doesn't give her the cover that she needs. No, that worked. Penetrator perk probably did its job there. Alright, we're in close quarters now, so we'll treat it as such. We've got a faster reload on this thing. Delay is definitely not helping my DPS out here. I'm not a fan of that at all. Probably that's probably my biggest complaint so far. The weapon seems accurate. It's got a very big, big sound to it. Bassy, snappy. You can feel the power of this weapon despite the numbers not really telling you the same story, but that's okay. We're playing on very hard difficulty, so we'll get we're on bullet sponge mode. That's just normal for that Bethesda game design. Happy to say that they didn't um, keep that in uh, Starfield though. They've, they've learned from that. Todd Howard grew as a person. Anyways, um, I'm going to shoot people with a tank gevier now. And even with this thing, we're getting so many shots. There's the creation club lady. This is going to be a very long gun through streak, and that'll be where it ends. Probably massive overkill using a critical, but screw it. When these gunners are going to go, you know they got to. And if we're lucky, we'll get a nice view of the uh, third person reload animation. Well, we caught the end of it there. That's pretty good, I guess. Nice. Thanks, Vats, for being cinematic. I forgot to install the mod that makes it faster, but that's fine. We're, we're okay. Oh, yeah. Worth just soaking in that uh, first-person firing animation. It's glorious, especially when you miss. Suppressed version. It's a casual 5,400 damage. Before you get away from that grenade, never mind, we ate it. That's fine. None of that. Okay, we finished now? That's great. Uh, that was polite of them to uh, let me recover before shooting me even more. And okay, I need to do something here. Did I just, did I just crack 10k? I think I may have. We'll see if this one gets it. Nope. His head just gets taken clean off instead. That that's that's fair. Now, the question is, how close am I to a level up? Because I wouldn't mind one at the moment, you know. Very close, very close indeed. One more kill would uh, seal the deal, you'd think. Perfect. Alright, so obviously we're not going to be blowing all of these gunners away. We are using old school bolt action rifles. Perhaps more effective when you've got like 50 other blokes firing those bolt action rifles around you. That's why when automatic rifles come out, they were like, Wow, now one man could be an entire army. This is groundbreaking. And now, we get another gun through streak going. Hopefully Penetrator knocks him out. Reload whenever you're ready. One, two, three, four, five. Nice. Instant easy VATS criticals there. Very good. Very impressed with the VATS performance here. I suppose 
I can't really call it underpowered because I've got all of these range benefits and take that. Which is helpful, but I think the time has come for the knife blades and hang on. I maybe I forgot to forgot to equip it. One moment. Okay, now we've got a knife and it's got animations? Obviously not in third person. Or maybe there is. Anyways, we'll just uh, stab this person. Take out their Achilles heel. Hit him with the next stabbing slice. I didn't expect this thing to have glorious first person animations. Maybe we could have uh, deciphered that from reading the thing. Bas I'm spamming power attacks over and over. It's probably a little bit more uh, effective this way. But if I don't... Wow, you actually stab with this thing incredibly fast. That's brilliant. All right. Uh, let's see if I can use Blitz here a little bit. And off goes his head. Hit that like a baseball. Wait, no, that's exactly what it's supposed to be. Look at this stabbing. And look, it's a perma stun as well. She could do nothing as I stabbed her in the face like 20 times really, really, really quickly. So that's great. So I think what we want to do here for the uh, door breach mode is uh, we're going to charge in there with a knife because that's exactly what they're trained to do. That's what they told me. Instead of like clearing out people around Sweet. corners with the grenade or something. Anyways. If we can get a lucky stab at... We, we did okay there. Um, one of the... Oh! Yeah, that's why you don't door breach with a knife. And also, um, why... It, I, I guess you can just get away with firing your thingos, your grenade launchers at point blank. The AI don't care about that. There's actually a mod out there for a, a friendly fire feature for this uh, for the NPC so he would have killed everyone in the room with that first shot all right so this next job will be using this uh, tank gewehr more like a giant elephant gun I guess it's the same sort of concept right instead of uh, shooting at tanks we'll be shooting at big big super mutants I suppose we could get a couple of cheap little hits on those rust devils that is attacking at least when I can see them or maybe a a good hit on the swan just to knock it down. That's done all right. Now I think it is proper go time, so we'll throw a critical into the mix. Almost cracked 10,000 damage. I don't think we'll do much more. No, never mind. There's 11,000 right there. It's a particularly effective use of the tank gewehr there, I think. That's a really good use of the copper, lead, and steel in those rounds to just drop him without taking a single point of damage. So, yeah, that's the kind of the power you get out of this thing. And there's also... So that's the kind of power you can get out of this thing. That's... Uh, I'd say it's its intended purpose, so uh, it's passed on that. All right, just because I don't usually use melee weapons for mod videos, let's uh, utilize a little bit of sneaky, stealthy melee because it's fun because you basically one-shot everything. Obviously, this one doesn't apply because he's a giant, massive ghoul, but, you know, that's a 6,000 damage for one knife stab, which is pretty good. Uh, he's going to start beating our asses now, so... We'll have to finish off with a critical, but lost barely any health in the process. Thank you, Vats Protection. And now we can chop up some of these buggy dudes. Take this, Mantis. And little bug man. Ew, no, no, stupid mosquito. You don't get to eat that. That's mine. That's precious. You don't understand. Haha, <laughs> got your stun lock now, mate. Huh. 
Okay, so perhaps this knife was a little bit more powerful than um, first uh, imagined, so that's great. And, you know, the fact that it's got really cool animations too. That's just icing on the cake. That's the uh, block animations, by the way. You know, something the stealth used to do is whenever I used to transition from third and first person, it, you just randomly block for no reason. But this one doesn't, so whatever mod was causing that did happen. And the blood's still leaking. You probably wrap some bandages on that. All right, so I know that I've said that the Kane K would be the uh, focus of the video, but we haven't used it against the boss yet. And the fact of the matter is this thing probably isn't strong enough to take on these bosses without some serious chem usage or vats tomfoolery. So what we've done instead is we've brought back up. How many we got here? Three, uh, six, seven of us. Uh, eight, including me. So that should be good. Everyone here is armed with the same suppressed scoped uh, Kanoni 8K as I have. I've got 25% less damage because uh, Lone Wanderer is no longer active. But now we can all start taking pot shots at it. And uh, would you know that the, the the sound that it makes is just a very standard vanilla game sound. And no sniper knockdowns are ever going to happen for this thing, is it? But hopefully, with all our powers combined with this thing, despite the lack of urgency for reloads that we're witnessing right now. That was a double crit there. Whenever you're ready. There it is. Waiting for that perfect moment to go target its eye. I think that crit did nothing. And Mike may have gotten stuck on the tree there. There's another crit ready to go. I'm going to be very surprised if we can't pull this off. Hold on. Okay, she's a bit wounded. I didn't actually bring Phoebe's um, syringer rifle. That would have been perfect to use. I could just use the syringer rifle and get it with a stim pack. Now Ella's going to cop it. Let's get another bats run on it. We've got all these shots, may as well use them. Try to go for the head. If Ala does go down, we can charge in for the immediate revive though, so that'll be alright. As long as it's not me dying, then the AI goes stupid. And if you were just wondering on what the reload looks like from a profile side-on perspective, there it is. I think at this point, it should have been mutated already. I, wasn't, I haven't been really paying attention. Oh, it's charging. Alice's, oh, the first one to go down is actually Bridget. And uh, never mind, she's getting picked up. I think Matilda's down now. They're just trading revives with each other. Are right, you going after me? Yes, you are. And that is Nerd Rage. Maybe you switch over to loud and proud one for a second. Ah! Wow! I think what we just witnessed there was the... That would have... Oh, I died. Okay. I was wondering why everything went normal speed for a moment then. Alright, looks like we've got this thing on the road now. Alright. We survived. <laughs> Not many of us did, I think. Wait, where's which? Anyone find her? Did it kill Tammy's big sister? It may have, you know. No one else is freaking out. Nope, you're fine. Just inspecting the kill eye or a log. Yeah, it's a pretty interesting looking log. There might be like little ants on it or something. Anyway, so that there was a car 98k. Uh, everyone switched to wearing mode. It's an elite made weapon. Sounds great, it looks great. There's a couple of annoying things just about its usage and functionality which sort of ruin it for me. Like the fire delay is one thing. Obviously the inherent flaws with the low magazine capacity and the slow rate of fire. That's normal, I can accept that. But if I've got that slow rate of fire already and I'm getting a delay between shots when I should be taking them, that's just a little bit frustrating. That's probably the worst thing I could say about this thing. Other than that, it's a really well made weapon mod. Again, great sound design, 
the textures look great the models are awesome as well so highly recommend it if you've got the space yeah 1.1 gig for a 2k texture download crazy that's that's way overs but you know you get a lot of textures with it i suppose and they're all in pretty good quality and get what you download i suppose thank you very much for watching guys